right, so what we're going to do is here, we're going to try to, we're going to voice over some of this um, voicing over here. I'm talking to Kilo7 and Papa Alpha Romeo and doing a voiceover to see if you catch any of that loud noise here. So he heard me negative 11, I heard him uh, plus one. Okay, so my computer just responded to his computer. All right, his computer says Roger, Roger 73. My computer now acknowledges a 73 back to him. My settings has this, uh, I'm still transmitting here. Transmitting that final 73. Okay, I'm done transmitting. Um, my settings are set to bumped to log. So this pops up. So I will hit OK. So that logged it. Now let's close out our program. Simulate we're finished. Now let's go ahead and open up our N3FJP amateur contact log. What we're going to do here is we're going to hit file, import an ADIF file. Right there is the one that we want. Open. Now when I do this, it's going to import every contact I've made. Not just the last one here, today on 7 January. Notice 8 November, all these are on here. Well first, thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to file, remove duplicates, yes. Now watch what this does. Boom. There's K7 Pop Alpha Romeo at the top of my log made uh, today along with this Slovenia voice contact I made uh, this morning. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select that and I'm going to hit edit. Fill the fields determined by their call sign. Because I don't have a county, a name, a state, so I'm going to hit select a record. Because that doesn't come through on FT8. There, so now it filled in, filled in all the information there. Okay. Now I can say, all right, take that. I'll blow that to logbook the world, the selected contact. All right, that's done. Now I'm going to hit upload that to EQSL, selected contact. There, that's done. Done. Okay, so now it's green on my log. Now let's just close out my log. Now, let's go to qrz.com. We're going to go to qrz.com. We're going to go to my page. Here we are. So you know what? Let's go to my logbook. On my logbook, I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to come down here to Logbook of the World Import and Export. And I'm going to hit Import from Logbook of the World. And I'm going to type in here my call sign here. And Import. So zero new confirmations, but three records added. Show my details here. So here's uh, the one that I added just this morning, the S5, CR5 Whiskey Whiskey there from Slovenia. That was this morning. Now, Logbook World does take a moment. It's not uh, that automatic, though. So now we can uh, refresh. Right here it is, CR5 Whiskey Whiskey. That's the one from this morning. So that, that one got finished processing within uh, Logbook of the World. Later on, if I do that again, again in Settings, Import, type in my password. Later on, then that K7 uh, from Arizona, Maricopa County. Oh, one more added. Oh, there he is, K7 PAR. All right, well, that was pretty quick. All right, then, well, let's just refresh, go look at our log. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so, automatic, uh, evidently, Paul has his setup. That when he logs his, because he has already logged it and confirmed it via Logbook of the World. So he's, that's what the star means, is that it's confirmed via QRZ. And then the star with the green circle means that it's confirmed in Logbook of the World as well. So Paul's already confirmed his. There we go. So all finished. That's Paul from Arizona, K7PAR.
that's how I utilize my N3FJP um, amateur contact log along with my FT8 and along with QRZ Logbook of the World and EQSL. Thanks for watching.